Now that you've seen how to build a REDCap project and get data into REDCap, let's look at how to export data. To get data out of REDCap, go to the Data Exports, Reports, and Stats page on the left-hand sidebar under Applications. First, let's build a report to review what the subset of data looks like. To do this, Go to the Create New Report tab at the top of the page and name the report. Select who is able to access your report, all users in your project, or only specific users. For example, you may want to set up your project so that only administrators can access the report. After setting up the report, Decide what items to include in it. There are four ways to add a variable to a report. One, choose an entire instrument. Two, use the quick add feature by checking the boxes of fields to include in the report. Three, select items from the drop down menu. Or four, type in the name of the variable. To place fields in a different order, drag and drop them until they're in the preferred order. Next, add filters. For example, if I only want pharmacy students to show up in my report, I can specify it in this section. Live filters allow you to use multiple choice questions to look at subsets of this filter group. I can use live filters to switch back and forth between pharmacy students diagnosed with diabetes versus those who have not been. You can also choose by which fields to sort the report. The default setting sorts everything by the record ID, but I can change the sorting setting add more options, and choose if results are in ascending or descending order. Here, I'll sort by last name, by ascending order. Select Save Report at the bottom of the screen, then select View Report to see the data you've chosen on a new page. The report includes only information for pharmacy students, listed by last name in ascending order. I can use the live filter to look at only certain subsections of the data, such as the pharmacy students who have not been diagnosed with diabetes. With either a report or the entire data set, REDCap provides some basic statistics and charts I can use to visualize data. Through the Stats and Charts buttons, on the My Reports and Exports page. Under Display Options, I have the option to look at the data for the entire report or a specific record. For text fields, the field section provides the sample size, N, and tells me if any data is missing. For number fields, it gives the minimum, maximum, standard deviation, sum, and percentile breakdowns, as well as a graph that shows the distribution. For multiple choice questions, the field section shows the answer distribution among the choices and the number of selected unique fields. I have the option to view the data as a bar or pie chart, and the option to download an image of the chart. I can export the report from the top of the Stats and Charts page, or export the entire data set from the My Reports and Exports page. There are several options of formats to use when exporting data. Recap works well with all major stats packages, so reports can be downloaded as SPSS, SAS, R, or STATA. 
Choosing one of these options and selecting Export Data will prompt downloads of a few different file formats. Downloading the files and running them in the order given by RegCap will format the data and import it into the appropriate stats package. Files can also be downloaded as XML or CSV files, which can be opened in Microsoft Excel or other spreadsheet programs. There are two different CSV options, raw data and labels. Raw data will give the variable name, such as Y underscore PCOM, instead of why did you choose to attend PCOM, and uses coded values on items like multiple choice questions. Labels give the full question, what is your program? And for multiple choice questions, the label for the answer choice, osteopathic medicine, psychology, etc. As a general rule, we recommend that you download the raw data because raw data is used for project analysis. When cleaning data or re-importing it into RegCap, it must be in the form of raw data. There are also several de-identification options. For users without the ability to export the full data set, some of these options will be pre-checked and can't be changed. Under Known Identifiers, there are options to remove all the fields tagged as an identifier or to hash the record ID field which changes the record name to an unrecognizable value. We recommend that the record ID field not be an identifier. However, if an identifier for the record ID field is used, you can hash it. Under Freeform Text, you can choose to remove any unvalidated text fields, notes, and essay boxes, leaving only quantitative information. Under Date and Date Time fields, you can choose to remove date-time fields. To calculate date differences within a record while unlinking a specific appointment to a specific person, choose the option to shift the dates in your date-time fields by between 0 and 364 days. The amount shifted will be determined randomly, but all the values will be shifted by the same amount. For example, a participant with appointments on June 6th and June 13th may be shifted to October 15th and October 22nd, preserving the period between appointments. You can also shift survey completion timestamps in the same fashion. When you've made your selections, click Export Data at the bottom of the window and export the prepared file. This tutorial covered the basics of exporting data using a classic RegCap project. The next video will cover some advanced features of RegCap.